Hey guys, Jamie with the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own candle wicks. So I like to make my own candle wicks when I'm making projects because then I'm making it all the way from the start to the finish. I also feel like when I make my own, I can control the size of them, right? So sometimes you need a smaller candle wick and it almost feels like a waste when you have a big long one that you have to cut. And for me, um, it only takes a few seconds to do. You can actually do it while you're making the candles. So without further ado, let's just dive in. Let's learn how to make our own candle wicks. So to make your candle wicks, you're gonna need a few ingredients. So you're gonna need some soy wax, some needle nose pliers, wick tabs, which are the little metal tabs that go on the end of a candle wick, and then just some wick string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the soy wax and go ahead and pop it into our pouring pot. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a saucepan with just a little bit of water on the bottom. And I have a silicone mat in here that just prevents it from bumping around on you. And we're gonna pop that on our burner. And we're just gonna place our pouring pot in there and heat it up on a low to medium heat just until all of the wax is melted. So now that our candle wax has fully melted, we're gonna go ahead and pull it off the double boiler. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our wax. This is gonna be a little bit difficult to get my hands in. So I'm just gonna pour this into a different container that's a little bit more shallow. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead, cut the wicks to whatever size you're gonna need them. Um, you can cut them all the same size, you can cut them different sizes. It just depends on what you're gonna be using the wicks for. Now you do wanna cut them just a little bit longer than what you'll actually need. And what we'll do is we're just gonna take the wick and drop it right into the wax. Come in with your pliers and you're gonna kind of shake off as much of the excess wax as you can. So we'll just give it a good shake. And then when you lay it out, you want it to be laid out as straight as you can. Now it doesn't have to be perfect um, by any means, but kind of the straighter that you lay it out, the better. And you're just gonna continue this process. Now, if your wax starts to cool down on you, you can certainly just go ahead and heat it up again. There's no fragrance in here or anything like that. So you can really heat this up as much as you need to. Um, Cause what you want is you want a thin layer of wax on your wicks, but you don't want a whole bunch of excess because then you're gonna kind of have to peel that off. So when it's hotter, the wax is going to come off of the wick a little bit better. As it starts to cool down, it gets a little bit thicker and harder to shake off that excess. And just give it a good shake. And I'll do one more here. Now your pliers are gonna get a little bit waxy, but they're super simple to clean. You just clean it off with a paper towel. So um, I just find that it's easier to grab the wicks with the pliers than it is to get the wax all over your hands. And we will just lay those like that and allow them to cool. And the cooling process is only gonna take a minute or so. And then we can go ahead and pull the wicks off of our freezer paper. Now that we have our wicks and they have the wax on them, we can go ahead and tab them. Now, sometimes when you're tabbing them on the end, you're gonna have to kind of smush the wax down or peel it off just a little bit so you can fit it in there. Now, when you're tabbing it, you wanna make sure that the wick goes through to the other side. And we're just gonna grab our pliers and clamp down on it. 
same thing. You might just have to smush that off a little bit. And then we will put that through our tab. Pinch that tight on there. And then same thing. We're just gonna squeeze off enough to put it through. Now, um, the part of the wick that you squeezed off, you're gonna cut off at the end anyways, so it's not gonna affect the wax on it at all. And this one, I think I can get in without even squeezing any off. didn't squeeze quite enough. And our last one here. And I swapped out scissors because the ones that I had weren't very sharp. So we're just gonna come in, see the part that we left hanging over. We're just gonna trim those off. And then the last thing I like to do is just come through um, some of them might have had a little bit of excess wax on them or they're not perfectly straight so I will just come through make sure they're securely on the tabs by running my fingers over them straighten the wicks out getting any excess wax off of there and there you go that is how you make your own candle wicks I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy making your own candle wicks. Bye!